Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Ever wonder what it's like to be a superstar DJ? Travel the world, live the dream, be treated like a demigod? This series is a real insight into the cultural phenomenon of the DJ today. That is my DJ set. The humble DJ has never been so big. I could be in China one day, it could be in Australia another day. And dance music has exploded across the globe. The world is my club. DJs are the new rock stars. There must have been 15 private jets, all with DJs' names on. Swedish House Mafia, three players. We are going to be following the likes of Tiesto. I love Vegas. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. I miss the Vegas. <laughs> Seth Troxler. I also had crazy leg problems. I went to the doctor. I was like, doctor, what's happening? Diplo. A boy ultra! A boat! Come on! This is Diplo! Disclosure. A little bit uh, nervous for Howard. Oh, I feel awful. You did great! And Fat Boy Slim. Very important pre match warm up. We're going to be going behind the velvet rope. This is my office. It actually is well. your office. <laughs> giving you exclusive access to the lives of these DJs and seeing what they really have to go through to get that success. Seth Troxler is the underground hero of the superstar DJs. He's hugely passionate and outspoken about the preservation of dance music culture. He is seen as a refreshing change from the gimmicky world of modern mainstream dance music, and his larger-than-life personality and infectious charisma have made him a favourite with fellow DJs and fans alike. In 2013, he was voted Mix Mag DJ of the Year and has featured in their top five DJs in the world for the past five years. A man of many passions, he runs three music labels and is also an accomplished chef. His restaurant, Smoky Tales, was voted one of the top five places to eat in London. Compared to most top-level DJs, Seth Troxler prefers to play off vinyl and he regularly plays extended sets of up to seven hours. With multiple residencies across Europe, worldwide club and festival appearances, and a non-stop touring schedule, Seth Troxler is a superstar DJ with a difference. Uh, we are just at the most underground party that is Paris, Concrete. Um, and I am a really fun, awesome, courageous guy that is superstar DJ, underground. My name is Annie Mack, and I'm a broadcaster and club DJ. I've come to the Eurostar at King's Cross St Pancras in London to meet Seth Troxler, who is arriving from Paris. I'm not sure what to expect, as he has come straight from the club to the train after playing a seven-hour DJ set. Seth. Hi. How are you? Yeah, really good, really good. Are, are you? you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get sleep? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the DJ's kindest yeah. friend is the eye mask. The eye mask. And did you sleep well on the train? I was out. They asked me if I wanted a breakfast. I said, do you yeah, have like, a beer? Yeah. And then they're like, no beer. And I was like, good night. <laughs> 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 good night to you, good sir. Night. You're used to this lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of. This is nothing for you. It's what, I, uh, what I've done, I think. It's what you've done for years. Yeah, I mean, I, I, always, I have this kind of story where I went to a rave once when I was 14, and I've been to one every weekend <laughs> since. <laughs> is this a typical weekend for you, Seth? Yeah, I normally play about 15 to 30 hours a week. Seth stands in a DJ booth for 15 to 30 hours a week, and this has started to affect his health. What's that called? Deep vein thrombosis. Deep vein thrombosis. Get it on planes. It's yes. Pregnant so, women get it. I know, and I and me too. So I went to the doctor, I was like, doctor, what's happening? He's like, maybe you stand up too much. It's <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah, I've got orthotics in, in my shoes, because I'm like an old man. I leave Seth to go for a sleep before I meet him again later on. 
Seth Troxier's reputation precedes him. All over the world, he is known as the guy who loves the party. I'm fucking back. Fuck. My outfit today, you know, I'm, um, I'm wearing my girlfriend's pants. <laughs> I, I never knew there's bats in fucking Miami. They're everywhere. I'm actually uh, planning on moving to London. All the cool people are in London. You got anything more to say, Johnny Depp? And I was like, you know what? No. And I was like, you know what? That's what I'm all about right there. And now for tonight's parties. I've come to one of Seth's many crash pads to talk outfits. He is to DJ at a London Fashion Week party later on this evening. Where am I going in here? So have you got an outfit? I have got an outfit. I got um. You, you're down to one. You don't need to choose between. I don't you're need happy. to choose or anything. <gasps> okay, so how are we going to see this outfit? Are you going to dress up for us? Or... I can go dress up. Yeah. I would happily join you on the catwalk. Okay. So should I wait here for you? Yeah, wait here. I'll be back, and then we can go like one of these. Okay, <laughs> and then I can come back anyway. And then, and like with the power of, of TV magic. Yeah. It, I'll be like I'm like here. And then I'll be in a different outfit. Look at this. I, uh, Can I'm, I feel I'm, your trousers? Yeah, get in there. Oh, that, so soft. That's it's like this weird camo kind of. That's exactly what I was planning, you know. All all, all day, people just want to touch my trousers. Legs. I was gonna be like, you know, the, yeah. the off limits. This gig tonight, you've kind of planned, or in your head, you'll know that you're gonna be playing some different music rather than the fabric. Right? I don't really plan anything. Okay. So it's kind of going from the seat of my pants a little bit. Yeah. But I've got a folder full of disco and stuff, yeah. and I hope that works. So you'll get there, you'll catch a vibe, and you'll be like, I think I'm going to play this tune because yeah, of the situation, yeah, that's, the people. That's being, a, that's being a DJ. Yeah, yeah. 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 serving yeah. the people that you're Serving the of. people and figuring out the situation. You yeah. know, it's not like showing up with a USB stick and press and play. Mm. It's like having a lot of really... Having a library. A, a library of music, and then, yeah. uh, and then, you know, playing music for the right situation all yeah. the time. Who else is out there as someone that you look to as being like really just looks good in terms of the world of music? Uh, Ryan Ferry has done a pretty good job of it forever. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of people who DJ that I think always look great. Hmm. There's this guy called Seth. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and let's talk about the mustache. <laughs> the mustache, it's a funny one. My real father and I don't get along so well. Mm. And, um, one time he told me I couldn't grow a mustache. Yeah. And then after that I was like, oh really? Okay. Uh. Boom! <laughs> Who's talking about their mustache on TV? Pow, 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 pow. We are going to the after party now, Seth. Yeah, so, so let's go. Let's go in there and play some records and party it up. Are you feeling okay about that? How are you feeling in terms of energy-wise? I'm energy a bit levels? tired. Yeah. Yeah, but like uh, I, I operate on this energy level all the time, so yeah. it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Your body is trained. I am. I am You're trained. It's 11 p.m. and the night is just beginning for Seth. After this party, he is still due to play a set at Fabric Nightclub at 5 a.m. Seth was brought up in Detroit with musical parents. His stepfather was a techno DJ and he was exposed to house music and techno from an early age. This has helped to define him, both musically and as a person. I want to see him in his musical element. So, the next stop is the biggest techno festival in Europe, Time Warp. It's 3.30 in the morning, and I am getting out of bed to go and see Seth DJ. His set starts at 7 a.m. Time Warp is one of the biggest raves in Europe and attracts a really dedicated crowd. This year is the 20th anniversary, and I'm intrigued to see why it's Seth's favorite place to DJ and party. Time. What is time warp? What is time? Warp? What is time warp festival? <laughs> no, it's this festival that's been going for 20 years. It's like kind of the staple point of European dance, dance music, or just kind of dance royalty almost, you know? Mm. And they just bring them all together to throw the best rave ever. 
And now you're here, you're playing two. Just two hours. Which is kind of weird for you, I can imagine. Yeah, but it's just going to be bombs. Yeah, yeah, dropping bombs. Hit yeah. parade. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Good. <laughs> See those all those people? Hits, hits, like, hits. I like this one, like. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping it. Kablumo! I think what makes a really good rave is great sound, great attention to detail, and somehow being able to make it feel intimate mm. without being feeling like you're in a party with 30,000 people. I was interested to take in Time Warp for myself. The world of techno has its own set of superstar DJs, and the sheer size of the festival shows how, after 20 years, these DJs and their music are thriving more than ever. The time up is quite legendary. Just such a massive array, the crowd's really underground. So I wonder, does that make a difference on the dance floor, as in like, the people are more in the music and they probably maybe know more of the music you're playing as well a little bit? Or... I think people come to these festivals here for DJs rather than for records for the they know. Yeah. Or for records they know, you know. Yeah. There's so much more you have to be now. You have to be, you know, a little bit of a personality, unfortunately, you know. Everyone, you have to be connected with people through different ways other than just making music and DJing. Seth, you know, is really likable. And that's really important these days. They want to invite you back because they want to hang out with you as well. Because like you, you know? yeah. You know? yeah. It's not just because yeah. they want to hear your set. That he's carved himself a very successful career, mm. um, you know, because he's a really, really, really good DJ. The love for Seth amongst his peers is undeniable. Techno, techno, techno! Seth Truxer. Yes. Discuss. My son. He's your son. Do you know he booked me for a party when he was 15? What? Yeah. He was 15 years old. What was that What was that party like? Did he you play He had dreadlocks it? down to his ass. <laughs> no It was way. kind of amazing, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you've obviously watched him grow from then and become yeah, a really sure. like, globally renowned DJ. Incredible, really. What is it about him? Uh, I think a few things. I don't know. The persona, the love of music. He's got that star quality. He really does, doesn't he? Yeah. Sunday morning has well and truly broken. It's 9 a.m. You are feeling happy and maybe triumphant. I don't want to put that word on you. I'm feeling pretty good. After that set. I'm feeling pretty high on my horse. Does that change what happens now? Like, now you feel so happy that's over. Is that, does that mean you're going to party harder now? I just feel like now I'm like, have, I've got this whole idea, right? Yeah. Work hard, play hard. And if you've done a really good day's work, Enjoy yourself. Oh my God. Let's say, <laughs> let's do the time warp again. <laughs> I'm Annie Mack, and I'm living the life of one of the biggest superstar DJ characters out there, Seth Troxler. Kablumo! <laughs> Since our last meeting at Time Warp Festival, Seth's played gigs in Milan, Vegas, Istanbul and Moscow, to name a few. But today, we're in Battersea at a food bloggers convention. The sauces that we have here, the barbecue sauce especially, was invented by my grandfather. What people don't know about Seth Troxler is his love and passion for cooking. Last year saw him open a successful pop-up restaurant called Smoky Tales in Hackney. Oh. OK, so tell me about the sauces. So the sauce here, this is uh, my grandfather's barbecue sauce and our like signature sauce at Smoky Tails. Do you mind if I try it? Yeah, go for it, okay? go for it. Get in there. So what sauce is this? Barbecue sauce? It's barbecue sauce, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's good, eh? It's really zingy. It's, it's really zingy, chilly. and then you got the chili at the end. You know what? I can see you do this down the line. Some people do yoga. <laughs> I cook meat. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's it, though, really. Ribs are coming on. Oh, oh, it's perfect. What's the music to cooking ratio in your life? Maybe 95 to 5. OK. And in future, you see that kind of balancing out a bit? I don't know about balancing out. I mean, because the thing is, I want to get more into restaurants rather than cooking. Is that 
crucial for you to kind of feel like you've got something else going on as well as DJing? So, if so you do much, decide. I can feel normal. I think yeah. it's really important not to be able to get lost in this world of being like some like, oh, everyone kisses your ass, you're some DJ. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not like really cool at all. You know, you need to realize what it, it was like to be you or to be like a person. <laughs> Oh man, these ribs are so good. Mm. DJs have been coming to Ibiza since the 1980s. Since then, it's remained the premier holiday destination for dance music fans all over the world. During the summer season, which runs from May to October, Ibiza sees in excess of 2 million visitors to the island. And for the DJs, it's where hits are born and careers are made. I want to find out why Ibiza is so special to Seth Troxler and what brings him back year after year. To describe why Ibiza is important is like describing why moon smiles at night. It's a thing of ancient history. It's a mythical, mythical beast full of imagination and light. For me to describe that to you is like saying I was, you know, Zeus. I don't know the ways of the stars or the ways of the waves, but I just know it's special here. Today, Seth is taking me on a tour of his favorite spots on the island. Where are you taking Go Going to the fish shack. It's a great place that's secret if you won't eat some fish. It's kind of a restaurant that you only know about if you're in the know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's an islander restaurant, yeah. Yeah. It's the best. How often are you out here? Is it like a weekly affair this summer? Uh, yeah, I'm here basically every single week. <laughs> so will you be based here? No, I'm just going to come here every Sunday and Monday. Where Tuesday night, easy jet. Tuesday night, easy jet flights. The last flight of the night. Because I came up with this, this idea, right? Mm -hmm. Like... At least if I come home on Tuesdays, then I've got Wednesday, Thursday, and some of Friday in London, and my girlfriend can't get that mad at me. But I still have all day, like, Tuesday to party. When there's a party scenario, you know, and there's you and, say, ten other people in a room, I can imagine that you are most definitely one of the main sources of entertainment for those other people. Sometimes I'm, like, quiet and grumpy, and other times I'm, like, you know, entertaining, and I'm like, who wants a puppet show? Puppets, yeah. This is something, this is nothing. This is something, this is nothing. Let's go. This is my friend. Hello, kitties. Don't say those things. It's like when I get like proper uh, schizophrenic episodes. <laughs> hey, Eddie, do you like trees? <laughs> you know there's loads of trees in Ibiza. I, I really like trees. Pine tree. Another pine tree. A tree that looks like a pine tree. And I say, you know, where where do all these trees come from? We're on an island. I see what you mean about the fish shack. It's the best. And it's the best for a reason. I mean, you're here, you can look around and see the sea. The food is incredible, the people are nice. Yeah. What else could you ask for in life, really? Oh, wow. Um, the Gamma. prawns of dreams. Thank you. You're welcome. Good appetite. Cheers. Thank you. You look amazing. They're the best. I do it like this, or I eat the shell. You eat the shell? Oh, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Isn't that the brain? Kind of the poop. It's the poop and the brain. <laughs> The next stop on the Seth Troxler tour of Ibiza is his spiritual clubbing home, DC-10. This venue started life as a storage unit for the airport and over the years has become one of the most influential underground venues on the planet. DC-10 is not the huge glamorous super club that Ibiza has become famous for and it doesn't try to be. Here, it's all about the music and the sound. What's the difference between experiencing a Seth Troxler set at a place like this? than a normal kind of mainstream DJ set with bells and whistles and CO2 cannons and... As you can see here, there is, there is none of that. It's just honest. And what we do here, uh, the music we play, it, it's real. It's about our culture and the history of our culture, you know? In my mind, it's kind of like those classic aspects of what this is, is why I'm here today. And I want kids to experience that later. 
And what are those types and of today, aspects? Yeah, just playing actual records, you know, just mixing two vinyls, taking time, the patience of creating a journey for people to just really dance, you know? And that's, the, I think that's the foundations of DJ culture and club culture. So rather than kind of getting, you know, like lots and lots of uh, immediate, like huge breakdowns and peaks yeah. and troughs, it's about kind of getting lost in the music yeah, in a more like, abstract it's like way. It's like a lot of DJs play for an hour. I play for seven. It's not, it's like making love, you know? I don't prefer quickies. It's like we're gonna sit you down, get comfortable. This is gonna be a while. So you've had Seth playing here for you for five years now. It's been like yeah. five years, no? Five years, yeah. And he's part of the it's family. Long time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, he's a part of the family. It's like home. It's our brother. Yeah, that's he's my like bro. <laughs> <laughs> and what does Seth Troxler bring to the club? The fun, a freak, <laughs> craziness. Those. Good music. So I remember being on the dance floor and just being like blown away by the sound. Yeah, it was so this powerful. It was one of those well. systems that you feel kind of from coming from underneath you. You feel in your belly. Look at it. Look at the sub there. Oh wow! Look at that sub. Huge sub that comes up to my chest. No wonder I felt it in my chest. I felt at one point that this was it. This is this is the most fun I, I was having. This is the room two. I think you had a unique scenario where you actually had like a stepdad who was a DJ. Yeah, not, yeah. not often you have parents who were DJs. Yeah, and they were, my, both my parents are really in dance music. They really supported me, and I think that's another reason why I've gotten here today. My mom told me I could do anything I wanted a few too many times when I was a kid, that I really believed it, you know? <laughs> she was just like, you can be whatever you want. And, I'm, and I started to be like, you know what, you're right. You know, there's this whole thing, we're supposed to be living in the now, you know, the eternal now. But I think I live in the future. I think I've had like a five-year plan since I was five. <laughs> I'm like, when I'm 10, I'm gonna be on the baseball team. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm 15, I'm gonna drive a truck. I mean, music and art is just our way of trying to depict the human experience. You just wanna, feel like you've lived a good life, you know? I then like if I died tomorrow it'd be tragic, but I'd be happy. I've lived a I've lived a really full life. I've lived a million lives almost. You have. And I'm only twenty eight. You've had enough fun for about two thousand people. Yeah, I've had a l I've yeah. <laughs> if not more.